You're watching Tennessee Titans today. Mitchell Rance here from Chat Sports, ready to walk you through the latest news and rumors around Tennessee. The story that we're going to talk about today is from an article released by Bleacher Report going on in depth and saying the one riskiest move by each NFL team entering the 2021 season. Bleach Report picked the signing of Bud Dupree for the Titans. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, all right, I can kind of understand the justification of this simply because anytime you sign a player to a five-year deal worth $82.5 million, that's going to make you think a little bit, right? Now, the other reason why you could go, go along and say this is because Dupree tore his ACL, wasn't able to finish the remainder of last season. So you're not only doing that, you're signing a player to a big-time contract coming off a major, major injury. But in 2020, in 11 games, he had 31 tackles, eight tackles for a loss, eight sacks, two forced fumbles. So in his limited time, Bud Dupree was a phenomenal player. There was no doubt about that. The issue is, like, if you look to see what he did in 2019, I actually thought he was a much more complete linebacker, not so much just of an edge rusher for the Steelers, 68 tackles, 16 tackles for loss, 11 and a half sacks, and four forced fumbles. So here's why Bleach Report had to say on the signing of Dupree and why he was the riskiest move by the Tennessee Titans this offseason. Pass rush help doesn't come cheap. The Titans gave Dupree $35 million in guarantees as part of his five-year $82.5 million pact. And that's where the risk comes in. It's not just a matter of the lengthy history of edge rushers who ink a massive contract and then fail to recapture past glory or the fact that Dupree won't have T.J. Watt drawing double teams opposite him in Nashville. The last part of that by Bleach Report I think hits it right on the head. I think Dupree is a good player. But the fact that he has had such a outbreak, if you will, because before he came, uh, before he became a Pittsburgh Steeler, he was kind of an average dude. And then he had T.J. Watt draw him double teams. Then he has the rest of the Pittsburgh Steelers adding so much other talent around him, which really helped Dupree stand out. So what do you all think about this? Will Dupree return to his old ways in 2021? I want you to go down in the comments section and type Y for yes. Or, I do want you to go down in the comments section and type your end for no. In terms of going back to his old ways, I don't know if we're ever going to see a double-digit sack season again from him. But if I had to project eight sacks and 45 tackles, that somewhere seems to be the right thing. And for Tennessee, it might have been a risky move, but it was the move that you needed to make. Jadeveon Clowney was an absolute dumpster fire. Vic Beasley was an even worse of a dumpster fire. And you're coming off a year where he had less than 20 sacks, bottom five in the NFL. So you needed to be able to add a dude to your defense because, let's face it, Tennessee just simply couldn't get after the quarterback last season. And for a team that predicates themselves on being a tough-nosed football team, obviously on the offensive side, you also need to be able to reciprocate that on the defensive side. So was it risky? Yes. But sometimes you got to roll the dice to actually be able to hit the lottery here a little bit. So I actually like the Bud Dupree designing.